Hello, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about what are delayed charges in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Now, delayed charges is a way for businesses to keep track of items to be billed to their clients in the future. So let's say you have uh, you work for a client and do several jobs, uh, several items for the client. You can accumulate them and then build them in one invoice. So let me show you how. If we go into the plus and then delayed charge, it'll bring us to a window where we can enter the customer. I'm going to do a few samples and I'm going to select the first customer, Amy's Bird Sanctuary. This is a demo company. So let's get started here. So I'm going to put today's date or the date that you performed the item. And I can select from the list of items what I did. Let's say we did pest control on this day or we did it on, let's do the 8th. And it's $35. If we have the items filled out and that is the correct amount, then it will just populate and come up. So we can save this and start a new one. We can save the delay charge. Then we can move on to the next one on the day that we do it. And of course you want to do this on the day that you do it. And you can easily do it quickly. Um, so let's see. Let's say there was another pest control on that day. And we can save and close. Now, after we do delay charges, we can go into the customer and we can start billing those delay charges. And as you can see, here are the delay charges. They come up and you can uh, click on create invoice. When we do that, we can see the delay charges and any billable time or um, any uh, billable Reimbursement will be here to the right, and we can just click Add, what we want to add, or we can click Add All. All the items that we're waiting to uh, for us to build a client will be added to this invoice. And we can set up the date and uh, any other information on the invoice, and we can see all the delay charges that we can do. Now, if we set up the invoice to have to customize it with a date, which you know, if you if you want to show the date of service, that would be great. You can customize your invoice to do that and it'll show the date and uh, when it was performed and what was performed and the amount. And that is how you do delay charges. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to continue to receive um, quick tips um, and how-tos for QuickBooks. See you on the next one.